Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a look specifically at igneous rocks. Firstly, we're just going to define what igneous rocks are, and then we'll have a look at the formation of igneous rocks, including the solidification of the molten rock to form the igneous rocks, the migration of the magma and its viscosity, and then also have a look at intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks. We've actually discussed intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks in the past in a video in the previous section. We've actually discussed intrusive and extrusive igneous rocks in the past in a video in the previous topic of this course. However, I'm just going to cover them again and to clarify some details. Igneous rock forms from the solidification of molten rock and the majority of the Earth's crust is actually made up of igneous rock. This molten rock freezes at or below the Earth's surface and when it freezes at the Earth's surface as lava we form extrusive igneous rock but when it freezes below the Earth's surface as magma we end up with intrusive igneous rock. But what makes the molten rock solidify? Molten rock will solidify when the temperature of the rock drops below its melting point. This is pretty obvious, but this can occur due to the simple cooling of the molten rock as it rises towards the surface, but it can also happen due to a loss of volatiles from the molten mix. When the volatiles are removed from the mix, the freezing temperature of the rock will rise, and therefore the rock can freeze at a higher temperature. The temperature at which the rock will begin to solidify depends on its composition and it does this according to Bowen's reaction series. If you're not sure about Bowen's reaction series or the different types of magma composition then maybe go and watch the last two videos in the previous section of this course. But just briefly, the Bowen's reaction series decides the composition of molten rock as it decides what sort of partial melting of the source rock will occur and it will decide the fractional crystallization that will occur during the cooling of the molten rock. This then decides the rock type that will form. Finally, the last thing that will decide what sort of igneous rock will form is how the magma will migrate through the crust. The ability for magma to migrate depends on its viscosity and its viscosity depends on its silica content, temperature and volatile content. When there is more silica, the viscosity of the magma will increase. However, when the temperature and volatile content is greater, the vos viscosity of the magma will decrease. Magma migrates because molten rock is less dense than country rock. Magma infiltrates the cracks in the rock and melts overlying rock to move upwards. The silica content, temperature and volatiles decides the viscosity of the magma. The viscosity of the magma decides how the magma is able to migrate and then this decides whether the magma will be able to reach the surface of the earth and therefore create an extrusive igneous rock which will either be explosive or flow easily onto the earth's surface or the viscosity of the magma might be such that the magma is not able to reach the surface of the earth and therefore creates an intrusive igneous rock formation.